Hello, I'm Fred Schneider, and you're tuned into the Weekly Report, a look at news and insight related to programs and services provided by departments of the City of Kansas City, Missouri. The City's Home Weatherization Program is now accepting applications from qualified individuals living in Jackson, Clay, and Platte counties. The Home Weatherization Program provides participants with a free home energy audit to identify improvements needed to make their home more energy efficient and economical. To learn more about this program, including income restrictions, please visit kcmo.org slash home repair. Due to its inaugural success, Channel 2 has begun airing its second season of Time to Be Well an original television series hosted by registered dietitian Kathy Berry that shares healthy recipes and effective exercise tips with viewers. Stay tuned for Time to Be Well immediately following the weekly report at 8.15 a.m., 5.15 p.m., and 12.15 a.m. daily. You can also learn more about Time to Be Well, watch archived episodes, and find recipes for the meals prepared on the show at kcmo.org slash time to be well. Now let's check in with some of our city's departments for information and insight. I'm Jennifer Fales with the Kansas City, Missouri Office of Emergency Management, and I would like for you to join our CERT team. experienced a disaster or even a small emergency that just affected you or your family. What kind of skills do you wish you had when the power goes out for a few days or when the snowstorm prevents you from getting to the grocery store or maybe you have a medical emergency and EMS is delayed getting to you. Volunteering helps you acquire those skills and it lets you give back to the community. We know that people are going to help one another after a disaster. We want to train you so that when you do help someone, you have the right skill set and you're able to do so efficiently and safely. On the board over here, we put down some signs and symptoms of what can happen in an asthmatic attack. Generally, the process is this. Somebody is exposed to something that they're allergic to. And this can be through inhalation. It can be through absorption through the skin. It can also be through oral intake. Um, and well, if a volunteer takes CERT training, they can expect to get a lot of hands-on practice as well as classroom instruction. We teach basic personal preparedness. Uh, the fire department comes out and does fire safety with fire extinguisher training. We do disaster medical, which is a step beyond first aid and CPR. We teach light search and rescue, team organization, disaster psychology, and we finish the training with a full-scale disaster exercise. We also have a lot of opportunities like today to come out and take some advanced training and practice your skills. We would like to uh, thank all of our volunteers who are members of our CERT team who are out here today participating in this regional rodeo. We've got over uh, 220 regional CERT members here along with more than 20 from Kansas City, Missouri CERT team and taking a big part of their Saturday, giving that up to be here, to be better prepared, to assist themselves, their families and their neighbors and uh, for that we are really appreciative of it. What we have set up here is a base camp that you would come across if we ever had to respond to an emergency, uh, if CERT teams ever deployed. When a, a big disaster happens, CERT members are often the first people on scene, and we call it start where you stand. So if you're at the Walmart or in your neighborhood and a situation unfolds, you're right there and you know what's going on. You can start to assist the other people in your area. You can make sure that first responders get that 911 call. You can take down information so when police, fire, or paramedics are on scene, you've already got a little bit of organization going on and you have a whole lot of information to help them do their job better. 
They may ask you to further assist as they deal with the situation, or they may take over depending on what the needs are. But CERT members are kind of that stopgap measure while we're waiting for EMS, police, and fire to arrive. If you are part of a religious organization or a business, as well as your neighborhoods, then you can get a team together with your group and you can take this training as a team. We also um, accept individuals. So maybe it's just one family in a neighborhood that's trained, but that's one family that's better prepared personally and a family that can assist their neighbor. So I think everyone in the city needs this training. Community Emergency Response Team training is absolutely free. We provide all of the safety equipment you need for the hands-on practice. We provide student manuals. So really the only thing it takes to join the CERT team is a little bit of your time and attention. There is no cost involved. People can call me at the Office of Emergency Management. My direct line is 816-513. 8602 to find out about upcoming courses. If um, they're not a Kansas City, Missouri resident or they don't work in Kansas City, they can still call me and I'll help them find the CERT coordinator closest to them. One of the ways that many health departments work to protect you is by keeping track of the number of cases reported of a variety of illnesses throughout the year. The Kansas City, Missouri Health Department has, over the last year and especially throughout the first three months of this year, noticed a significant increase in the number of cases of syphilis being reported. We've noticed a significant increase uh, from last year and uh, we believe that people don't know that they're infected and don't know to get their partners tested or treated. Many people do not display signs and symptoms of syphilis. However, uh, the primary stage of syphilis you may uh, have an open sore that does not hurt, does not have, you don't have any discomfort with it, but it will heal on its own and go away. Uh, the second stage of syphilis you may display a rash or a mucus patch. It will heal and go away on its own. And those are the two most infectious stages of syphilis. However, without testing and treatment, we can't identify that you actually have syphilis and um, the syphilis will stay in your body until you get it treated. You can go to your medical provider and ask them for a blood test and ask specifically for a syphilis test. Or you can come to the Kansas City Health Department and we'll test and treat you for free here. The Kansas City, Missouri Health Department's STD clinic provides free and confidential testing and treatment for syphilis, gonorrhea, and chlamydia, and also free and confidential HIV testing. If you believe you have been exposed to an STD or you have symptoms, please call us for an appointment at 816-513-6379. You may also find information on this clinic on our website at www.kcmo.org. Hi, I'm Heidi Downer with Parks and Recreation Department. Summer is approaching and to celebrate, Parks and Rec has organized many fun activities to satisfy a variety of interests. For example, middle and high school students are invited to enjoy free and secure nightlife this summer at Club KC. Hosted by Parks and Rec and the Mayor's Office, Club KC provides youth with several free activities including swim parties, video games, dancing and basketball. Club KC will take place from May 24th through August 10th on Friday and Saturday nights. For more information, please visit kcmayor.org slash mayor's nights. On Saturday, May 25th, the city's water parks, pools, and spray grounds will open for the season. The city operates two major water parks, the Springs in the Northland and the Bay down south, along with four outdoor pools and 12 spray grounds. To learn more information about our pools and spray grounds, or if you'd like to purchase a pool pass, visit the aquatic section of our website at kcparks.org. Parks and Rec will co-host three services this Memorial Day to honor the brave men and women who serve in our armed forces. The first service will take place on Monday, May 27th at 10 a.m. at the National World War I Museum at Liberty Memorial. 
Another Memorial Day service will take place at 11 a.m. in the center of Union Cemetery, located at 28th Street and Warwick Boulevard. A third service will occur at 11.45 a.m. at the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Fountain, located at Broadway and 43rd Streets. To learn more about these or other events Kansas City, Missouri Parks and Recreation has to offer, visit kcparks.org and click on Calendar, or give us a call at 816-513-7500. Oftentimes, a child's perception of the police is a result of witnessing arrests or writing tickets. So it's important we reach out to the community in several positive ways to connect with kids and families. You may have attended events where our mounted patrol encouraged kids to pet the horses, or maybe McGruff was on hand to shake their hand. Another great way to connect with kids is through our show car with graphics designed by Mike Barton. As Mike explains, the design is much more than meets the eye. We decided to go with the fallen officer, and that's what the black bar on the badge represents is the fallen officer. And because we are family, it is very close, and I've lost some very good friends on my time here. So this is kind of a tribute to them as well. There's 13 stars, which represent the original 13 colonies. The eagle is our national symbol. The three stripes comes off, represents the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. As they come out, they start out narrow, but then they flare. Then they come back into the badge, which is the total recognition of the fallen officer. And then as they go back, basically my statement was, you know, our police are our front people. They take care of the crime on the streets, but if you want to get, like Boston, bigger, you're going to mess with more, and that's the purpose of things getting bigger, the American pride. And as you go further back, then you come into the five strikes, which was the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, the Marine Corps, and the National Guard. The ripple, yes, as a growing country, we have had issues. And some of the waves and everything, you know, I mean, we're not a perfect country, but we sure work hard and we're sure trying to be one of the best. So all of it was a history lesson and uh, a lot of pride invested into it. The Eagle, that's a little bit beyond my talent. So uh, Marvin Russell, uh, the crew leader there at the body shop, he has a nephew that is just fantastic. He can do a lot of beautiful work. So he agreed to do the Eagle and then uh, we did the stripes off of that. I believe there's 24 coats of clear on it, and that way you can't feel anything, and it gives it the depth. If you get up on it, uh, you can see reflection. I've heard at nighttime you can see the stars in the sky on it. It's got that much depth in it. We take this to all events. If there's a request, we do our best to get it there, and we have found that this tends to break some of the barriers between the youth. We are touching people. Do we touch everybody? No. Not, this is not going to touch everybody, but it does touch a group of people. And and if we can touch two or three or four or even one, I think that's something that's to strive for. If you would like to have the show car attend your event, contact the Community Interaction Officer in your area. I'm Officer Shelley Gaddis. Have a safe week. Looking ahead, the City's Office of Emergency Management invites neighborhood groups, families, and individual residents to participate in Community Emergency Response Training, which is also called CERT. CERT classes teach participants to prepare for disasters such as tornadoes, fires, or floods. Topics include creating a family disaster plan, assembling an emergency kit, and learning basic survival skills. To register for this class, contact Jennifer Fales at 816-513-8602 or visit kcmo.org oem for more information. In observance of the Memorial Day holiday on Monday, May 27th, curbside trash and recycling collection will be delayed one day, and city offices and the 311 call center will be closed. Residents who usually have Monday collection will receive the service on Tuesday, May 28th. Residents who usually have Friday collection will receive it on Saturday, June 1st. For more information about this or any of today's stories, Please log on to kcmo.org, scroll to the bottom right-hand corner, and click on the Weekly Report for links. That does it for this edition of the Weekly Report. I'm Fred Schneider. Have a great week.